In this tutorial, we'll go over working with characters. As you can see, I have a short scene here of an award ceremony, and I'd like to add a character to it. So let's do that. First, let's place the playhead where we'd like the character to appear. I'm thinking at about one second in would be nice. Next, let's select a character. Do that by going to the Characters tab and selecting the character that you'd like. I'll take this lady. You just click and drag the character into the scene. As you can see, nothing really has happened yet. There's an empty outline representing her. That's because she has not yet popped into the scene. If I click play, here she comes. By default, each character comes on and then disappears after two seconds. You can adjust that by stretching the bar that represents the character to the desired amount of time. I would like her to be a little bit larger in this scene, so I'm going to select her and then click on this green square and drag my mouse until she's the size I'd like. I think this will be fine, and I'm just going to position her by dragging her right here onto the carpet. At this point, she just pops in and then disappears soon after. What I would like to do is add another action. Rather than just having her on for two seconds and then disappearing, we'd like to have her for the entire scene, and we'd like to have her do a few other things than just stand there. So if you click this plus button in the bar, you get some more options, and these are for different types of animations you can have your character do. So I've got the type, which would be if she's angry, clapping, dancing, exercising, flying in, holding a camera, holding a trophy, saying hi, doing yoga, and more. You can also control the in and out effects by selecting them. Right now she's bouncing in and out, but she could also just appear instantly, grow, or alpha, which is basically fading in or fading out. So let's have our character do something. Let's have her clap. And if you take your playhead, you can scrub back, you can see this, or you could just hit play. There she is, she appears, she's clapping, and then she bounces back out. So that's fairly short, let's do something else. Let's click the plus button, and let's have her, let's have her do a little dance. So now if we hit play, here she comes, she claps, and she dances, yay! And finally, what would be an award ceremony without an award, right? So let's have her get that trophy. There just so happens to be an animation for that, so let's take it. And now let's see what happens. Here she comes, clapping, dancing, and getting her award. You can adjust the timing of everything by shrinking and expanding the actions as needed. I'm going to have her idle a little less, and let's see, trying to dance a little bit more. And then we're just going to drag the whole thing over so it ends down here at the same time the scene ends. In addition to all of the stationary poses, you can also animate your character and have them move. So let's have her run out of the scene real quick. So if I go to my character, click the plus sign, and choose running. You could also choose walking if you prefer. I'm going to choose running. She can run off the scene. I'm going to flip her because I want her to go to the right. So I clicked this button to have her flip. Now, you'll notice when it's highlighted down here, there's two little circle icons down in the bottom. These are called keyframes. Your first keyframe is the beginning position, 
and size. And the second one is the end position or size. So I'm just going to move my character to where I want her to end. And I want her to go completely off the screen. So I'm going to let go over there. So now, we hit play, you'll see her run across the screen. I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to turn off the effect of her bouncing out. So it's going to be instant. play and off she goes so in scene two let's have her enter here and run across and exit over there so we're gonna start by bringing our character into the scene let's take a peek at her settings we want her running and let's have her bounce turn the bounce off so that it's instant in both cases. So she's going to come in instantly and out instantly. Save. And then we want to flip her direction so she's going the appropriate way. And then finally, we want to come down here, give it a little bit of time. So we're going to stretch it. And then we're going to set our keyframes. So she can come in here, that's fine. We want our end key frame here to be way over here. So let's do that. Let's take a peek. And there she goes, running across the screen. You'll notice she only takes a few steps going across. So there's one more setting we want to adjust here. So if we click on this gear icon, repeat. We want this, let's have it repeat three times so her legs keep moving as she goes across across the screen. There, that looks better. And off she goes. So now if we preview the entire two scenes, you'll see after she gets her award, she's going to run off and then run across the park and then onwards to her home or wherever she's going. That's it for working with characters. Thank you for watching.